guys welcome back to choose your own path today we are making three um uh, fish hook for keys i guess we're gonna make three of them and i'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride so we got what i would call a pike or a pickerel uh some sort of walleye or something i don't know we'll figure it out when it's there and a bass we're gonna try to do bass his mouth is a bit big He's a big mouth bass. So, I mean, compared to, say, like, Billy the, the walleye or the, the big bass guy here. <laughs> I cut him in half. He was broken. Um, so, I just drew some of the lines on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm going to just show you. We'll start off with uh, the bass. So, what I'd like to do is get the gills out. Now, this is about, you know, three inches thick. We're just going to use our cut solver and ooh, I'll get my dragons here out of the way. So we're just going to cut our gills in. Try to get, you won't see it because of the, you won't see it much because you'll have a board here and you have to look sideways at it. But I'm going to try to bring this stuff down here. I took the, the you know the burr out and I kind of thinned him out you can see he's smiling the happy fish I got all of them done like that a lot of sanding to do so next step what I want to do I'll bring in so I want to put my eyes in so this is just a burr that I got I don't even know what the hell it's called and all I'm gonna do is make it so I just kind of turn it like that oops Different sizes for different fish, different size of eyes. It all depends on how big you want your eyes for your fish. Until I get a nice little eye going on. So we're going to do the both sides on this fish. You can see the eye. And then what I'll do is I'll just take the edge of it because it's got a grit on it. And I'll just pull out the edges like this. So it gets rid of that, con that insert that I made. It rounds it out. So before I do that, I want to do the other ones. Uh, for the bass, I kind of made a bigger eye for him there. So I'm just going to go ahead and you can see that. Same here. For pike or jackfish or whatever you want to call them. This bit is dull. Like there's nothing left of it. But it's still good to make eyes. And then, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get on the outside of it, and I'm going to pull a bit of these edges. And you can use another kind of burr if you want, but since this one's on here. All right, I'll work on this, because that's all I'm doing, and I'll get show you the all next right, guys. So, what I went and did, without pressing the record button again, is uh, I sanded it down, and then I scaled it, put some scales. I put some gesso on it. Gesso is a... It's a form of sealer paint. Um, I bought some. So I added the fins to our fish. This one's kind of funky looking. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be, but whatever. And uh, yeah. So next step, and this will be the final step that I'm doing today. Um, so I'll put this up and then tomorrow night I'll be working on um, putting it all together hopefully painting it because I have to have this done by Saturday we made three of them so we got our planks these are a, they're a foot each foot long and what I did was I just I just stressed them out so I sanded them down and then I, I have I have a hatchet and I use that in there and I just give it a good whack so next step is to put a stain on it and I really like the dark stains holy cow I'm crooked I like the dark stains, so this is a uh, stain in polyurethane. Um, it's a classic, uh, it says classic black stain, so I like this look to them. It really looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a dollop of stain on them, 
wipe it down, let them dry till tomorrow, and then we'll start with the airbrushing of whatever the hell that's supposed to be. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so stay tuned for part two. Uh, I won't show you this part because it's nothing to do. It's just, I'm just going to be brushing some paint on it. But it's getting there. I went a little bit ahead from showing you guys what I was doing, like with the scaling and all that. I forgot to press record. I was busy doing it, and I went, oh, crap. I was three quarters of the way through all the fish. Um, you know, hope it looks like a fish. Fish head. And then we'll put the hooks on it, and then uh, spray it down. I forgot to show you guys the other one that I did, the finishing. I put the epoxy in. The epoxy didn't turn... Like, it turned out great. Don't get me wrong. It's just that... <coughs> excuse me. Um, what happened was is I sprayed some clear on it and I forgot to not spray it on the epoxy. Now what that does is the epoxy basically just went to a dull color. You don't even almost notice it's there. You do and you don't. It still looks good. We can still wipe it down if we can get in there, a little toothbrush or something. I don't know, whatever. For now, it's gonna be done. We're calling it done. So stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you in a couple days. All right, thanks for watching, you guys.